Hello everybody and welcome back. In this tip, I'm going to explain to you how to show year-over-year -year change with a scatter plot. This is often called a connected scatter plot, but when it's just year-over-year, -year, I like to call it a tadpole chart. I know that's not an official chart name, but I think it looks like a tadpole. You'll see when we create this. If you're new here, my name's Andy. I'm the founder of vizwiz.com. I created this channel to help you become great at Tableau. Let's start by dragging profit to the rows and sales to the columns. We're going to drag subcategory to the detail because we want to compare sales to profit by subcategory. We want to now look at it as year over year. I'm going to drag order date to the filters, choose years, and I'm going to pick just 2021 and 2022. Let's click on OK. To show the year over year change, we need to drag order date to the detail shelf as well. And now we're seeing a dot for each year for each subcategory. Let's change our mark type to a line. Let's drag the year field to the path shelf. And now we can see that for copiers, 2021 connects to 2022. For tables, 2021 connects to 2022. Well, I'd like to make sure I can understand the direction these are going. So I'm gonna duplicate the year field onto the size shelf. I'm gonna click on size and increase the size a bit. Now you can see they kind of look like tadpoles. What I wanna do now is I'm gonna color code these. I wanna come up with four colors. I wanna know those that have increased both in sales and profit, those that have decreased both in sales and profit, those that have increased in sales but decreased in profit, and lastly, those that have increased in profit but decreased in sales. We can do that with two calculations. I'm gonna create a new calculated field and I'm gonna call it sales change. In this calculation, I want to compare the 2022 sales to the 2021 sales by subcategory. I want the result returned as a discrete dimension so that I only get a single color on each tadpole. So in order for it to get returned that way, I need to write a fixed level of detail expression. Let's start with fixed on subcategory, colon, sum, if the year of order date equals 2022, then sales, end, Close off your sales and then close off your mustachio. I'm going to copy all of that. Say, is that greater than paste? Is that greater than 2021? Click on OK. And notice over here on the left hand side that sales change is a discrete dimension. If we drag that to the color shelf, notice how we just get two colors. One for those that had a sales decrease between 2021 and 2022 and those that have had a positive increase between 2021 and 2022. We now want to do the same thing for profit. So I'm going to right click on my sales change field and choose duplicate. Let's edit the copy. And I'm gonna call this one profit change. And all I need to do is swap out sales for profit. Click on okay. And let's put that field on color and see what happens. Now notice we have some of them that have a decreasing profit between 2021 and 2022 and some of them have an increasing profit between 2021 and 2022. But now I need to come up with four colors. I'm going to highlight both my sales change and my profit change fields. Right click, go down to create, and let's create a combined field. Let's drag that field to the color shelf. Notice how we only have three colors. False false represents when there's been a year over year decrease in sales and a year over year decrease in profit. True true represents the opposite. We've had an increase in sales year over year and an increase in profit year over year. True false means that there has been an increase in sales, but a decrease in profit. Now we're missing the false true option. All that means is that there's no instances where there's been a decrease in sales, but an increase in profit. If you enjoyed this tip, please give it a like and don't forget to click on subscribe and better yet, share it with somebody else that you think could find it useful.